Good day, YouTube. This is Jay Money with Falling Forward Financial. Uh, just an update here on uh, Ocugen. I've been uh, watching them uh, close here lately. I've uh, been buying some in regards to the uh, trends. I uh, had some information um, come out here. I uh, was going to just do an update on them. Um, there's been a lot going on with them, it seems like, here lately. Uh, but this is Ocugen. Um You can see what it's done here over the uh, last year. It's had these uh, nice run-ups into the 15 range and then uh, pulls back to the 8 9 $10 range, comes back down to the 4 $5 range. It's the 15 68 again. Trades kind of up and down 6 7 range and hits it again back in uh, November. So maybe we'll have another one here in uh, February. So it seems to happen February, May, and November. Not that saying that's going to happen again in February, but um, you never know. So I got to looking at it, and I thought, oh, I'll start purchasing some shares in the 4 to $5 range. Maybe it'll run up to 15 again here sometime. So as, as you can see, when it does, it runs up in a couple days or sometimes a week, and then hits that 15.68. So Here's a look at the last three months. They had one of those run-ups. The last month, it's down over 25%. And the last week, it's down over 10 And here's a look at today. So I currently have uh, 20 shares. Just bought some more. Cost basis of uh, 482 And I'm down a little bit, uh, but not much. I've uh, been around since uh, 2013. So this started off as a... Uh, eye company, eye diseases and things of that sort, and then they started working on a vaccine. So then it started running up. Uh, that volume is 4.12 million. The uh, average is 15.91 with a $930 million market cap. 52-week low of $1.40 and 52-week high of 18.77. And as you can see, I just bought some at uh, 465, 471. Of course, after I bought, then it went down. So if you want it to go down, just let me put in an order and then it'll go down. <laughs> That's what it seems like to do. But um, so 465 and I could have bought more. I don't have a lot of cash in here right now and just been buying in little by little on this one um, as it could keep going down. Who knows? So Bing is showing this one as a buy with a one year price target of $8.88. And Alcogen stock is essentially back to being an eye disease play. So uh, that's the fear um, with uh, purchasing this one. That's what I've thought. Um, it wasn't too long ago. And as you can see, this is just dated yesterday, uh, that the stock was riding high on optimism over a uh, massive CB19 vaccine deal. Uh, however, after the unfortunate turn of events, uh, Ocugen stock has tanked from its highs earlier in the year. Ocugen hopes to uh, cash in on the recent surge in the um, cases within the uh, Covaxin uh, vaccine, but its approval in the United States seems uncertain, hence it is clearly too late for the party at this stage. Ocugen stock shot up more than 500%. And just a few weeks after the announcement of the of its vaccine deal, Ocugen signed an agreement to uh, co-commercialize the uh, Indian variant of the uh, COVID or the vaccine in the uh, United States, developed by uh, Barat Biotech. So that's been the uh, catalyst uh, projecting this one forward for quite some time. Uh, we'll just have to see how that uh, turns out. So. Agogen stock after uh, positive results uh, of the vaccine candidate in children as young as two years old. And this is just dated uh, yesterday. Uh, shares of Agogen uh, surged 6.4% in the morning trading uh, Thursday to bounce off a near 11-month low after the biopharmaceutical company said that its partner, Barat Biotech, reported positive result from a trial of its uh, vaccine candidate in phase two of three trial in India. The company said uh, Covaxin demonstrated in children two to 18 years old a robust uh, neutralizing antibody response and favorable safety profile on the preprint server. And when using a uh, two-dose regimen, 
given 28 days apart, showed a greater than 93% reduction in severe disease, similar to data from a previous Phase 3 study in adults. Uh, these data represent the uh, first positive vaccine data in children as young as two years of age and come at an important time as infections are seeing a spike across the globe. Um, so you can say what you want about the um, vaccine, about the uh, this right here, uh, which I'm not going to say because for fear of it getting demonetized, but... Um, I'm just about the stock and uh, what they're doing with the uh, stock and all the other this and the vaccines I could <laughs> tell you the truth care less about. So um, Wednesday at the lowest price since February 4th has still soared 154.6% year to date while the iShares Biotech ETF has edged up 1.9% and S&P has advanced 28%. So you can see the uh, difference. So quite a difference there. Why Oxygen trounced the uh, market on Thursday, and this is just stated yesterday. Oxygen was a uh, standout stock in the uh, healthcare realm. In the healthcare realm on Thursday, uh, with its share price shooting up more than 10% higher against the uh, slight decline of the S&P 500 index. The gene therapy specialist benefited from some encouraging news from a business partner. These days, uh, big movements in oxygen stock are tied to Covaxin, the uh, vaccine for which it holds the exclusive commercial rights in the United States. Covaxin is being uh, developed by India's uh, Bharat Biotech on Thursday. Oxygen announced that its partner posted uh, very encouraging results in phase two of three mm -hmm. clinical trial of children. Covaxin recipients aged two to 18 receiving the vaccine demonstrated a robust neutralizing antibody response and favorably safety profile. Seven month study involved 525 children in the age group. The uh, children received two doses of Covaxin administered 28 days apart. Um, so this kind of goes over what the uh, next steps are. Agagen's partner, Barat Biotech, reveals positive Covaxin trial data. And it's kind of some of the same information here as of today. Again, goes over phase two of three of the trials. Kind of some of the same information. So just a uh, different article over here on uh, Yahoo Finance. Up on Brett Biotech uh, Data and Pediatric Group. And this is dated here today, this morning, just a couple hours ago. Let's see if there's any other information in here. Uh, I'm just going to slowly scroll through of it for you that like the... Um, Yahoo Finance look a little bit better. It's a bigger print, so it looks like um, Pfizer is up also. Novavax. The amino bridging study was intended to determine if Covaxin generates the same protective immunity in children as it does in adults. So lots of testing, lots of, um, there's probably going to be testing. I don't see this going away anytime soon. There's just going to be new strains. That's just my opinion. Possibly until we get a new administration. Um, it's always hard to say, but um, I just hope for the best and uh, go one day at a time and uh, just try to stay positive about it. So shares of Oxygen have surged 163.9% this year against the industry's 20.8% decline. Wow. And here is some more information about BioNTech is another company that has scaled the skies on the success of the uh, vaccine. Comirnaty, which is, has developed with a farmer giant Pfizer and is based on its proprietary mRNA technology. 
Uh, as you follow my channel, uh, one of my biggest uh, biopharmaceutical or pharmaceutical holdings is Pfizer. I've held them even before the pandemic. They have appreciated some in the last year or last couple months, I would say, especially this year. Um, but it's a pretty steady stock, um, decent dividend, so um, I've just been in it for quite a while. Two months ago, over here on a stock twits currently at 467, with a low of a dollar 40, high of 1877. 56 days and counting, FDA sleeping. They're in no rush. They want mRNA to submit end of January 1st. So definitely one to watch here. They got a lot going on. There's lots in the works. Happy New Year, by the way. I'm a cancer survivor because of a surgeon of a Vietnamese heritage. Stop giving the visor. They know better. Hmm. So, like I said, there's some. I'm trying not to get into a big discussion about the vaccines and what it does. Um, you can feel free to uh, leave your <laughs> comments. <laughs> <laughs> oh man <laughs> yep have a happy new year <laughs> this is my sentiments exactly some of the time so on all this stuff I just like to get through <laughs> just like to get through and get back to a normal if we're ever going to get back there so I sent Yahoo News and MSN next. I will forward <laughs> news station into Fox News Room. Uh, <laughs> maybe next year. mRNA, Moderna. Yeah, I wish I would have got in there right after the um, about March of 2020 or April. I think you could have got in into it uh, for 20 bucks. I wish my Pfizer stock would do that, but. Over here on uh, MSN Money, currently at 468, and this is still showing as a buy. And over here on uh, Tip Ranks, if we can get rid of the New Year's crap, 468 with a moderate buy with 120% upside to 1033, high of 15, low of 6. But that's all that I have on uh, Akujin again. Um, I'm still watching it. Um, looks like it's a low today of 460. My last purchase was 465 so um, I might put in the uh, buy order for 459 and see if it hits that's kind of what I did in here did one for 465 and it hit it but then of course it dipped even more so so I might try one at uh, 459 see what happens um, but if you have um, this one go ahead and leave it in the uh, comments along with your cost basis any other information you might have in regards to this one and uh, that way we can all compare notes and like I said I'm gonna put one in here and uh, see what happens actually 459 and see what happens here so and if you haven't smashed that like button yet go ahead and hit that for me as well subscribing and hit the bell so you're notified of when the next videos drop i'm sure i'll be doing more on akajin in the days and weeks to come so and i thank you for watching happy new year and uh, go ahead and smash that like button and subscribe and we've been growing a lot here this week and been turning out a lot of videos so trying to get the uh, channel uh, pumped up here a little bit so and i thank you for watching happy new year Happy trading. Stay green. Cheers.